After a decade on the road, and more than a dozen and a half albums to their name, KISS is still at the center of controversy. This time they've changed their persona. Here are Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley in one of their last masked interviews. Is there a real persona that you've created behind your uh, costume? Uh, I think the press did more than that. I mean, I, I think the press did that more than we did. I think what we did uh, is design outfits and design a show, and we went out there and wrote the songs, and whatever it is that we became on stage is who we, is who we became on stage naturally. There were, there were no choreographers and no sort of uh, acting coaches saying, well, to look mean or to look pretty or whatever, you have to do these sorts of moves. We just were wh whoever it is that we naturally are. But what if you hadn't become a musical performer? I love horror movies. So I probably would have been a ghoul stealing, I don't know. Um, probably something that would have gotten me attention, because I think ultimately that's why all performers do this. That's why at least I'm, I'm doing this. And I think the same, the same kid in class who keeps making a clown of himself or is too loud or whatever, it's really the same thing that motivates me anyway. I'm Were you that kid that was... Oh, oh yeah, always too loud, always, you know, sort of pulling the ponytail of the girl. But then you me. became a teacher, right? After. Yeah. So you, you, you did have to put quite a bit into preparing for this. Yeah, you go to and school. You, That's what yeah. everybody did. I mean, yeah. at, a, at a certain point, I guess it's still popular. Everybody went to school. That's what you did. And everybody majored in something. And that's what I did. But I mean, at the same time, you do, you play in rock and roll bands and you work as a lifeguard at the Pines Hotel and you flirt with somebody's wife and get your butt kicked in. But you know, all that stuff. It's not just straight. I mean, it's not like there's a book plastered in front of my face. And what about you, Paul, before? I was, uh, I was doing anything I had to, to get by. I, I was in the music and art high school studying art. And I thought about installing telephones, and I thought about um, going into commercial art, and I drove a cab. I was a cab driver in New York to make uh, some money. But this was what I wanted to do all along. I never had any doubts that this was what I was going to do. When I was in high school, sometimes teachers would say, why aren't you working? And I'd say, well, because I'm going to be a rock star. And they would say, no, don't you understand the, the chances of that are, are, are really, really, really slim. slim. Yeah. And I said, well, no, you don't understand. I think if people, if people pursued what they really feel like doing without any regard to the people that are trying to stop them, they'd get there. Most of the people that are putting barricades in your way are only putting them there because if you succeed, it's that much harder for them to deal with their own failure. What about your parents? Were they behind you in all of this? My parents were, my parents were behind me in that they, they had faith in me. I think maybe a lot of parents don't have faith in their kids because they don't have faith in themselves. They were real under. But they let you do that. Yeah, they didn't they, go in and take away all your no, posters. No, all they, posters they were real understanding. And when I was in my room, I used to spend like 10 hours a day in the room with a guitar. And they just kind of let me do my thing and figured that even though they didn't understand what I was doing, it would work out. Things usually work out. You gotta have faith. <laughs> with the success buffering buffering like that and uh no it's um i don't think there's much to cope with i think it's a real easy life i have a great time i enjoy myself i do whatever i want i don't i don't know what there is to cope with maybe being rich now it isn't so sudden but in the beginning in the early days but we were too busy touring all the time i think the first time we surfaced for air it was something like eight years after we started. It was, it's been almost two albums a year, and I don't know how we ever got the time to do that, but most of the time we were on the road or making records. We didn't realize what happened to us. People had these ideas. Press would, would often say to us, well, how does it feel to be making that kind of money? When you're on the road 10 months or 11 months a year, money doesn't exist. Money to us still doesn't really exist. I mean, we basically have what we need to get by, and we're more concerned with playing than anything else. I mean, we're not people that want 10 cars. We don't want big houses all over the country. We have enough to, to live. I don't own a car at all. We don't want to be Elvis. We don't want to set ourselves apart from everybody. The way to stay in touch with rock and roll is to stay in touch with people. 
we're we're people. You don't have houses in the country. No, I don't think our priority was a a house in the country or a big car. That's the, I don't think people need anywhere near as much as they they think they need. I mean, I don't. I sure don't need a lot. The reason I don't buy a house in the country is first of all, I don't like the country. I'm not a great fan of trees and birds. They keep me up at night, you know, and crickets. It's not my idea of a good time, but I'm sure it's fine for other people. I'd rather, you know, go into visit some city and stay in a hotel. I'd rather much, much rather have room service and, you know, call me at the hotel. So say if you had a 10-day vacation, that's what you'd do? Oh, sure. Would you go to the beach or would no. you? No. Just in a city somewhere? City. Cars, theater, you know, people, art, uh, clubs, girls. There's nothing about seclusion that appeals to me right now. Probably when I'm 60, maybe not. I don't know that I'll ever really want to get away from it. It doesn't appeal to me at all. Well, let's talk about girls now. I've, I've read some uh, articles in the paper where you've been quoted as saying you've slept with a thousand women. Yeah, just slept, you know, with yeah. friends. Right. They happen to sleep. Each one comes in and they just go to sleep. See, we just watch TV and uh -huh. cookies and go to sleep. And you're not married or anything like that. You can't pay me to get married. I don't, I don't believe in the institution. It's a figment of somebody's imagination. But know? is that based on a long time philosophy that you started building as a child? No, or? I'm basically a slut, see? Mm -hmm. And if I were to get married, I know that, you know, the same girl that comes in to fix the bed when my wife goes out is going to wind up in bed. And I don't want to lie to her. I don't think I should ever get married. I certainly don't think it would be fair to anybody to wake up in bed and find this guy next to them. But then, of course, there are some fringe benefits. Okay, it's your turn. <laughs> How can I follow that? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a similar philosophy? Not at all. No. Do you envision yourself perhaps getting married sure. one day and settling sure. in town or having a family? Sure. <laughs> sure. I think, you know, that that's the ideal situation, that that's the ultimate situation. Mm -hmm until you can reach that point or until you find somebody that that you want to enter into a commitment like that with you might as well have a ball you know i think monogamy is fine with the right person up until that point you might as well get your rocks off you know commitment is great if the person's worth it if they're not worth it just have some fun <laughs> around your group. By that I'm referring to, I guess, what you call the fundamentalist move that's sweeping the country, the moral majority, what have you. They think there are messages. They're concerned with... Secret messages yeah, hidden within your hidden music. Hidden messages, you know, having to do with Satan or evil or, you know, sex or drugs or, or whatever. And um, Who exactly is behind all of this? I think... Is it a particular religious group? Is it no, Baptist, I, Methodist? No, because I don't think this has much to do with religion. I think it has to do with a bunch of self-serving people who are trying to use this as a cause to further themselves. I don't think this has anything to do with religion because religion doesn't teach pointing fingers and, and trying to either ruin people's careers or, or their names. It's, that's not what religion is about. You don't have to be a marketing genius to figure out. It's very clear to everybody involved that the more they talk about us, the more people are going to come and see us. So if that's clear, they're not stupid. They know full well that if they're going to do television programs and interviews about us being demonic and outlaws and all that, more people are going to come and see us. They know that, which is why I suspect, I know that they're in it for themselves. That's Preacher Bob with a capital B and a no and a B. Send your dollars to P.O. Box so-and-so for my, you know, stuff against Kiss. And you just send your dollars to me, I'll take care of those guys. Tax they actually free, solicit dollars well, to sure. run campaigns? P.O. Box. Sure. At the I'm back sure. of each pamphlet, send your donations. We certainly don't preach anything on stage. We're in more of a position than they are to influence people. We play rock and roll music. All we're telling people is to have a good time, party, believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself, everything's going to turn out okay. You have to have faith in yourself. I don't, uh, these people are, 
If anybody's dangerous, it's those people. Well, what about a career change kind of secret ambition? A second career? Is there... There's no room for a second career. KISS is a lifestyle, and KISS is really, it's a philosophy, it's a, it's a way of living. And there is no, there is no career change because KISS is your life.